Do you want to learn how to program the best settings for your Clack WS1 valved iron and sulfur filter? Maybe you've recently replaced the circuit board, or you just want to make sure that your current settings are correct. Well, in this video, I'm going to take you step by step through the complete programming of the great Clack WS1 valve for your iron and sulfur filter starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. If you're a homeowner, a plumber, or a water filtration specialist, this video is for you. I'm going to take you step by step through the best settings for your iron and sulfur filter, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to program it. I'll also go through all the settings you definitely don't want to touch. And I definitely encourage you to watch this video right to the end, because I'm going to have some a great tip on how to make your iron and sulfur filter last a long time. Now, before we go any further, you definitely need to know how these iron and sulfur filters work. So if you're not 100% sure, check out my YouTube video. I'll put a link in the description down below. We use the great Clack WS1 valve on all of our Hume water filtration products, including our iron and sulfur filters, but so do a lot of other companies, companies like Water Depot, Nelson, uh, Viqua, and a lot of others. But how do you identify if yours is a Clack valve? Well, Look at, the, look at the valve from the top. That's the easiest way. So in the bypass, these valve handles, do you see the way they're red? That's a tell. But also, see the shape of them. They're pointy on one end and wide on the other end, like an arrow. And uh, that's a great way to identify if it's a clack valve or not. Also, look at the injector port up at the top here. If it has a round cap um, that's serviced from the top, it typically is a clack valve. And, uh, and everything that I'm going to discuss here is going to apply. Now, if you have a different make of air over media iron and sulfur filter, in other words, another one that draws in air through the top here, um, the, the times and that I'm going to discuss are going to be exactly the same. At some point, you may want to access the manual for your Hume water filtration iron and or sulfur filter. So there's a couple easy ways that you can do that. One is if you take off the faceplate, inside the faceplate, there's a QR code in here. So if you scan that with your smartphone, it'll take you right to, uh, right to the manual online. Now it's a basic manual. If you want an in-depth full manual, um, I'll put a link in the description down below. All right, so moving forward, I'll have to wear my glasses here so I can see uh, what's on the valve uh, as we're going through the settings, just to make sure I'm giving the right information. So one thing you might find is if you start doing some programming and you don't get very far, is that your valve is locked. Now, we typically don't lock the valves, but some of the other companies do. To unlock the Clack WS1 valve, it's very straightforward. You just press the down, next, up, set clock. Now it's gone into lock mode, so to unlock it, you just do the same configuration. Down, ne next, up, set clock and now it's unlocked the valve. So let's talk about what each of the buttons do. So set clock is pretty straightforward. Set clock, the hours flash, you can move the arrow up or move it down to set the, the current time. Just be careful that AM and PM is in the top right hand corner. It's a little difficult to see. Um, even with my glasses it's difficult to see but uh, but it's but make sure you, you double check that and then when you're done set clock and then you're done. All right, next takes you to the next page of the programming that we're working on. Regen is the regen button. If you click it once, it'll regenerate whatever at the next regeneration time, be it 2, 3 a.m., whatever it's set for. Press it again, and it uh, deletes that, uh, that um, initiated regeneration. You can hold it down, and that'll uh, create a regeneration right now. You need to hold it down for five seconds or so until it takes off. And then the up or the down button allows you to change the value that's showing on the screen for the programming. All right, let's get into the programming. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to push the next and the down button. At the, we're both of them at the same time. We're going to hold it down until the screen changes. So in the top left-hand corner, we need to look to see what it says. And in this instance, it's saying softening. So we need to change that with the arrow down or arrow up button to filtering because um, we need to tell the valve that this is being used for an iron and sulfur filter. Okay, then we press next and you just keep pressing next until you get to the end. And when it's at the current time, that's the end. So next we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to do it twice. So next and down, hold that down until the screen changes and then do it again. And until the screen changes. So now we look up here, and so it's so now we're telling it um, what size valve this is because the we need to tell it what size valve the circuit board is on. 
So it's, it's a 1.0 or a 1-inch valve. 99% time that's what you've got is a 1-inch valve. If it's a commercial application or an extremely large plumbed home, might be 1 and a quarter, 1 and a half, that's where you would change this. So you could change it to 1 and a quarter, for example. But again, in this particular case, this is a 1-inch valve. So then we press Next. So Alt Off, you need to make sure that's how that's programmed. And that's if you have an alternating these are industrial valves scaled down for um, residential use so they can do a lot of other things that we're not going to use it for um, but this is where if you had two valves set up this is where you would change this you change that to alt on but again that does not apply here so then you press next dp off that's correct so that's for a dip switch this can be connected up so now we look at the cycles so th this is telling us what cycles we're going to build into this valve and, uh, and make sure that the cycles are correct. So the first cycle is backwash. So you see one, and then you'll see the word backwash flashing here. So again, if you want to change that, you'd use the arrow down or the arrow up button, and it would change to uh, some of the different uh, cycles. But uh, again, we want to have one backwash. And then press next. And two, it says uh, two br uh, down brine. And uh, again, that's what we want to have here. We don't, if there's something else set up, like it says uh, rinse or something like that, then you need to change that. So then we press next, and it says three backwash. So this is something we want to change. An air over media iron sulfur filter only has two cycles. The, um, the backwash cycle, the initial one, and then what it calls here down brine. It's actually not down brine, it's, it's um, air draw. But uh, in terms of its terminology, it uses it as down brine. So now we need to change this to off or end. Okay, so it says three end, and then we go next, and we're back to the time. So next we want to go into system setup. So to do that, again, we press next and down, hold it down. And again, it's showing filtering up here, so that's correct, we press next. So this is the first cycle. So for an air over media, iron and sulfur filter, the default is 15 minutes. So you can see that it's flashing eight right now. So we just press the up arrow to get to 15, and then we press next. So uh, uh, for the air draw, it's showing down brine, which is its terminology is correct for air draw. So we want to change this to 30 minutes. So right now it's set for 60. So we just grab the down arrow. You can hold it down and it'll go a little bit more quickly. There it is, 30. Then you press next, off. Again, we said those are just the two cycles and then it's not gonna go through any other cycles. And by the way, if you're thinking about investing in one of these great Hume Air Over Media iron or sulfur filters for your family, you can check out our websites, either watereastore.com in the US or watereastore.ca in Canada. And then we go into the installer settings. So now you press next and the up button together, hold them both down together until the screen changes. So this is regen day 14. So that's how often it's gonna regenerate or do the air draw. Now it needs to do that every three days on an air over media iron and sulfur filter. So you move that down to three. And then you press next. So this is the regen time, or when it goes through that cycle. Now you don't want to have it do it at the same time as the water softener, if, or if you have any other water filtration equipment, you have to stagger the times. So water softener usually is set for 2 a.m. I usually like to leave that one as the default. And this one here, I either set for 1 a.m., or if it's a water softener that takes an hour and a half to two hours for regen, then I would set this at 4 a.m. So we'll set this at uh, 1 a.m. We do the arrow down, and, uh, and then you press uh, next. And again, you see the, the, the minutes flash, so you can set it right to the minute and then press next. And then we're back to the home screen. So if you have an extended power failure, like 45 minutes or longer, you would reset the time. And again, you would, that's the current time. Again, set clock for the hours, set clock for the minutes. And there's a couple of normal operating screens when you're in uh, service mode, like it is right now. So obviously the current time is being shown, but you can also press next and it would show the flow rate. Now we don't, uh, connect a flow meter to these air over media iron and sulfur filters so um, it won't be showing anything on there if the water's running in your home so that will always be zero zero and then you press next and it tells you the amount of days remaining before it needs to regenerate to fulfill that uh, every three days cycle and then you press next and you're back to the current time 
And since you can see the words Regen Today flashing on the left-hand side of the screen, it tells us that at 1 a.m. tonight, it's going to go through a full regeneration cycle. One of the ways you can make sure your iron and sulfur filter lasts a long time, in fact, all of your water filtration equipment lasts a long time, is get a surge suppressor. Get a good one. And I don't mean a power bar, and I mean an actual surge suppressor. That if there's a voltage fluctuation or a brownout or something like that, uh, the system, uh, the surge suppressor will, will take the brunt of that and it'll save the electronics. Click here for your next video on iron and sulfur filters and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below.